Good morning, it is Sunday. Sunday and it's mild. I'm here on my throne in front of the mock Tudor, in front of the house, the brown one, the brown and white one that got carved up, moved and reassembled. Kind of like that, uh, was it Petra in Egypt, where they had to build a reservoir, so they moved all of Petra to a different uh, place. Anyway, today's video is about optimism. It's about seeing the bright side, about looking always on the bright side of life. Also, in terms of, um, I'm gonna give you some good advice, and my advice is very old. It's about 2,000 years old, and it comes from Marcus Aurelius, the former emperor of the Roman Empire, and uh, who was uh, depicted in the film Gladiator. It was about the death of Marcus Aurelius, and it was fictionalized, of course, to, to add to the drama. But Marcus Aurelius, one of the great things he said, he goes, I'll paraphrase to, to, to bring it up to the 21st century. People are gonna be doing some crazy shit, desperate for your reaction, but you don't need to react. So now that the dust has settled, now that we've been in the pandemic for a couple of years, um, my advice to all my viewers, if you wish to remain in the unofficial control group, you know exactly what I mean. Every study, every experimental drug must have a control group. Now, it's worth mentioning, as I am the tangent king, let's go on the first tangent, that uh, many of my viewers, in fact, many free-thinking individuals around the world, we, uh, we said, hold on a second. You can't, you can't just do scientific experiments on the public without their consent and using coercion. And then the uh, World Health Organization, the American, is it the CDC? The NHS here in the UK, we passed the Coronavirus Act. They said, oh, no, no, we are going to comply with the Nuremberg Code because we're going to grant this experimental uh, medicine. We're going to give it emergency FDA authorization. We're going to give it emergency approval here in the UK. Now, what that means for all the water-headed retards that don't quite understand what's going on, I include myself in the group of uh, water-headed morons. Don't know what's going on. Basically, the government changed the goalposts. Um, certain things were brought in after World War II because the, the governments and the population realized that it was such a shit show. It was so demonic and evil and uh, genocidal and uh, the hubris and the animus that was released upon the Jungian collective subconscious was something so bad that it led to the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. It led uh, partly to the European Union to stop European people killing the shit out of each other. That's what Europeans have done for hundreds, if not thousands of years. They love a good war. Such terms as the 100 year war. Fuck it, we'll have four generations of war. <laughs> World War II led to uh, many, many things. The never again thing, the Never another Shoah, never another Holocaust, never again. Memorials, law, order, reflection, sentimentality, return to values, return to old-fashioned religions because the 20th century ideologies of fascism and communism didn't quite go so well. So things like the Nuremberg Code, very important because the things they did to people out of the animus of hatred was so bad, we had to bring in a code. And then the government said, nah, we'll grant it emergency approval. That's how we're not gonna get in breach of the Nuremberg Code. So Marcus Aurelius said, don't react. So my experience throughout the, the main lockdowns, you know, March 2020, uh, autumn 2020, the big lockdowns, was to kind of carry on as normal and see what happened now because I didn't I didn't get between the the head of the snake and its uh, technotronic cyborg obedient uh, body I kind of watched it I kind of um, grew my YouTube channel going wow look at these people look at these people and now we're at the stage it's uh, Halloween hooray Halloween what is Halloween except a gallows humor about our uh, knowledge that we're all gonna die? Everyone we love, our parents, our kids, our brothers, our sisters, our friends, everyone is going to die. So Halloween, when it's all spooky and ghosts and skeletons and zombies and vampires, it's the gallows humor on the existential crisis that we're all gonna die.
Marcus Aurelius, to get back on track, Marcus Aurelius said, you don't need to react. So vaccine mandates, I'm not reacting. Vaccine passports, I'm not reacting. I go on holiday. I'm going to go on holiday in my own brain. Uh, police issuing COVID fines. For some reason, they never issued me one. I was breaching lockdown rules every day. Where's my COVID fine? Um, <laughs> what I'm trying to say in a kind of roundabouty kind of way is um, the Magna Carta, the United States Constitution. These are these are items of magic. They are the will of man, which then creates the representation to take a Schopenhauer view of things. Now, there is no clause in the Magna Carta, there is no clause in the US Constitution that says these magical, amazing documents of the will of mankind are valid until there's a crisis. What politicians need to understand is that these documents are even more important at a time of crisis. But because everyone loses their minds and governments rule through consent, the police police through consent, in, in times of crisis, people kind of ignore the very legal documents upon which society is based, and that's a terrible thing. But there's some of us in the unofficial control group that don't forget. And in the spirit of Marcus Aurelius, just remove yourself from the target of fearful, vindictive people, of people. Come on in, no, no, come on, come on. Come and be in the video. So we're saying, are you scared of the, um, the pandemic and all the reactions and the vax mandates and, and so forth? No, no, I think that's all right. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're doing moving. all right. Yeah, we're yeah. doing all right. We're moving away from it somehow. We'll have to learn to live with it. See this, this is the public voice, Vox Pox. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Take care. Ciao. Look at that. I would have been very embarrassed if he said, "Yeah, yeah, you must have your booster jab and stay scared." And but no, he was on. He was on point. <laughs> so I'm going to change location. What I was trying to say is that deep down, the governments of the West, I can't speak for places like China or India, or places which have a different uh, underlying uh, spiritual structure. But the West, having gone through the horrors of World War II, what they're most interested in is the same thing that my political party, the Stability Party, is interested in, and that is stability. Now, the ongoing mandates, the ongoing demands that people do X, Y, and Z, otherwise they're going to lose this, they're going to lose their money, lose their job, will create instability. We're seeing in America now certain hospitals, certain fire departments, certain police stations are struggling because they're being suspended for not taking the vaccine. Now, it's all starting to unravel. Um, to anyone that doesn't want to take part in the great big experiment, the Technotronic, uh, what's his name, Robert Brzezinski's um, Technotronic future, if you don't want to be a cog in the machine, just hold strong, just choose what's right over what you're being coerced to do. You'll find that the answer is quite clear if you trust yourself. And uh, going forward, you don't need to take part. You know, if someone's setting up Disney Plus for seven pounds a month, you don't need to order Disney Plus. Like for now, I'm in a new flat. I've not got a TV license because I, I it's what, 150 pounds for the year? About 12 pounds a month? Not interested. So figure out a way to earn money if you don't want to be, you know, sheep dipped and go with that. There's nothing to be worried about.